Hello, Scarborough. Hello, MD. How the devil are you? So, the devils are good. <laughs> the devils are good. <laughs> so, today we have a video that's been requested, and it's basically a new version of a video we did previously um, about where to mint NFTs, buy and sell NFTs on the XRPL. Mint, mint, mint. Let's get right into it. Uh, yeah. First up, NFT Master. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, sorry, MD. These are pros and cons, not our opinions of them. So yeah. we're not <laughs> slagging anything off. It's our pros and cons in our view. And also, uh, it's not in any particular order. Okay, no. so we're not rating this like the best no, and the second no, is the second no, best. And so on. No. It's all they come random, up as they come up. random order and you will do your own research. But you will have a list to go and look at. So that, that yeah. should help. Um, yeah, NFT Master. Uh, dot com is the first one on the list, not the best or in any way endorsed. All the but worst first on the list. Yeah, you can have a look at this. So main features here are buy and sell. When you log in, you have a little profile page. Uh, you can mint single NFTs, but they're not free. You can create a collection. You can bulk mint. Uh, you have whitelists. And so the prices here are three to 270 XRP for a single mint, 2000 XRP for a thousand NFT mints. Wow. And 5000 XRP for a collection. Okay. So we'll leave that up to you. What do you think about that? Yeah. But anyway, pros and cons from us is a bit slow, a bit expensive. Uh, the minting yeah. isn't free, and collection minting is definitely you know, kind of expensive. Yeah. However, I do like the swirly marble in the middle. You love that. Oh, I love the swirly <laughs> marble in the middle. Fair play. I love that. There's a, there's a pro. <laughs> so second one. Second on one XRP. up is on XRP. Uh, is. This yeah. is, we can say it's one of the more popular ones, right? Without judgment. Um, yeah. So the features here are as well. You can buy and sell NFTs. You you have a profile when you log in. Minting single NFTs is free. You can create a collection, which is also free to create. There is no bulk minting though, no yeah. whitelists, and uh, actually it's not clear if creating a collection is free or not. I think it is. But uh, yeah, I'll have to have a word with my mate. Yeah, this is a pretty okay. popular site, right? Let's yeah. leave it at that. So quite popular. Uh, next one is Mintable. Mintable dot com. Uh, Mintable dot com is one of the earlier NFT marketplaces, and they were actually kind of non XRP based like from way back and i believe they got a little grant also a while nice. back from xrp from ripple nah, and they said from xrp yeah from i know from ripple um this I'm one here a day. <laughs> is kind of not very xrp centric okay it's kind of hard to to find where your xrp nfts are uh when you log in you get a little profile um it's kind of a bit tricky find your way around here. Some things aren't really that well made and user friendly. Um, but in general terms, you know, check it out. So you can buy and sell NFTs. You have a profile page. Um, minting single NFTs is absolutely free. You cannot create a collection on here. Um, so you might have to do this somewhere else. There's no bulk minting. And no whitelists no white as well. List. No whitelists. Um, so like I said, uh, pros and cons, it's not really yeah. that XRP focused. It's more for Polygon. Uh, if, but yeah. we added it because you can XRP on there. So Yeah, you can. It might be one it. of the easy ones to just press mint and log in and do an NFT to play around. Yeah. It's an older one. So they started really early with this. But it could be good very quickly it could be good with other people coming from different blockchains because they can see theirs on there and polygon and stuff like that so that could be an advantage that way so who knows 
who knows but it's good to check yeah. it out right yeah it's it's no, it well. has it has some issues with the implementation of some of the features uh it's not the fastest one out there but like i said you can mint for free yeah. um you can you have to log in with metamask by the way and then also you know some is like a secondary login for xrp minting it's kind of a bit confusing if you're if you're not into metamask or you're just on xrpl or no to minting yeah if you're no to minting i wouldn't go here yeah probably not yeah um yeah mintable.com carefully <laughs> Next one. Well, up. XRP, tread carefully because they could end up doing something they don't want to. Yeah. Next one up is XRP Cafe. Cafe. Who we've had on a few times. So. Yeah. So XRP Cafe, we can say he's, it's also one of the more popular ones, right? Yeah. Uh, you can buy and sell. When you log in, you have a profile page. Uh, basically, all minting of any kind is absolutely free. Mm -hmm. um, you can single mint for free you can create a collection for free uh, there's no bulk minting no whitelists but there's some features like cancel bulk offers uh, you have favorites list you have a history and there's also like a wallet uh, how do you say analytics where you can see the yeah, value I of your wallet i do like that i must admit i do like that okay it's not precise but i do like that feature I must yeah admit. when and i seen it, i thought oh that's nice as for you know pros and cons it's pretty easy to use right yeah very probably easy would use. recommend for a <coughs> beginner, beginner mentor yeah definitely this cost you anything uh, to mint here so you can buy it's sell and yeah, it's very uh, user friendly, I must admit. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so check it out, it's a pretty good check one. Yeah, um, next one up is XP Market. Uh, XP Market is also a relatively new one, right? Mm -hmm. So you have buy and sell when you log in, there's no profile. Um, as far as I was able to tell, there's no minting. Okay. So so this is just a buy and sell market. So but if you can't mint, not sure how you get your items on there. It'll probably grab it from your wallet, right? And then you can put them up for sale. But Very yeah, nice. like I said, nice. no minting, no create collection, no white lists. But um you can buy and sell. Yeah, it Thanks. has you can have a fav favorites marked and uh, it has uh, analytics for like collections and such and you can buy and sell so i overall i would say it has limited features you can't mint on it and it's like a buy and sell market only yeah right well, it's a marketplace buy and sell yeah. basically yeah buy and sell uh next Treat one up. your market sunday market bit of car booting <laughs> for your nfts no offense to xp market xrpnft.com is the next one. Um, similar, there's, though you can mint here. So you can buy and sell. When you log in, you have a little profile page. You can single mint NFTs for free. You can create a collection and you can bulk mint, which can be very nice to yeah. have that. Um, there's no white lists available. And it also doesn't have analytics or stats of any kind. So check it out. It's not exactly one of the most popular, but it's out there among the, there. the ones we have. Um, so then the next one is 3ZY XYZ. XYZ. XYZ for uh, cyber, yeah. You say Z, right, in England? Z, yeah. Not Z. Z, Z. 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 <laughs> So this one here, um, also buy and sell market only pretty much. Uh, you cannot uh, mint here. You have a profile page. You cannot create a collection. There's no bulk minting. You cannot do bulk offers, no white lists. And, but there are some stats analytics and you do have a history. So yeah. yeah. Also more like if a buy and sell a market rather than a place for you to mint yeah. yeah and of course saying all of these things 
do your own research because all these marketplaces are constantly evolving, right? So they're adding yeah. features all the time. But just be careful. Be careful. That's yeah. Double chat, check when you log in yeah. somewhere. Make sure that what you're signing is a login and not yeah. like selling or sending <laughs> XRP be away. Be very careful. Yeah. Double check and check again, especially when buying and selling because you never know. Yeah. Uh, Next okay. one up is a Xmart. Um, I think we can say it's among the top five yeah. populars, right? Yeah, a lot of the spinner on this, I must admit. I yeah, this has a spinner. feature where you can buy NFTs and you buy t kind of a spinner tickets, right? Yeah. And uh, that's how they do it. So this spin. has um Buy and sell, right? When you log in, you get yeah. a profile page. You can mint for free. Uh, you can create a collection for free. There's no bulk minting, but you have a history. You can do bulk offers. There's no whitelists and no analytics or stats of any kind. Um, but this overall a pretty popular page, right? Yeah. I uh, think the spinner, a lot of people are the spinner. Yeah. And then you get all the star, all the like celebration that you've minted once you mint one, which is <laughs> You like that. <laughs> well, I'm a child at heart. Yeah. I may be 21, but I'm still a child at heart. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure you are. <laughs> Next one up is Sologenic, which is one of the yeah. earliest ones, right? Very I would say. early. Yeah. Very and Sologenic early. started out doing a now deprecated format, which is the XLS 14, right? Yeah. 14D. But I think they moved over. I think my personal opinion, <coughs> I know we shouldn't do personal opinion. This is a very <coughs> hard marketplace to interact with. Yeah, I mean, it, every, every, every person has a different preference, right? Yeah. So some people might love this and someone else might not yeah. like it. Yeah. But going quick with the features, the Sonogenic is also the DEX, one of the most popular ones, right? Without a doubt, I'd yeah. say probably if this marketplace is less popular, probably their DEX is probably one of the most popular. The, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Because they really do a good job with the DEX. With the DEX. Definitely. But as far as the NFT marketplace, so we have buy and sell. When you log in, you do not have a profile that you can edit. People who have uh, in the in the past minted XLS 14 Ds, they can swap their NFTs to XLS 20s, which are the current, you know, regular NFTs on the XRPL. Yeah. Um, there is no free minting actually, so you're paying a mint with three solo tokens per NFTs, which you need to buy on their decks. Okay, so no free minting, and there is no free collection creation. So if you're looking into doing a collection, there might be better places. There's no bulk minting either, no history, no whitelists, no analytics or stats, but there is a watch list, which is kind of like a favorites list, right? Yeah. And as far as pros and cons, I would say minting is basically paid only. Um, and it's more known for the decks than yeah, for the NFTs. Definitely for the decks. Yeah, and the decks definitely the one to to use on the XRPL. Okay. Definitely, yeah. we'll give them that. Um, next one up is Radical X. We, my mate Dan. But if yours right, it's kind of a new. Buddy of mine, Dan. Yeah, I mean, so many people are doing so many great things and putting yeah. a lot of work in into. Dan all is of... doing a lot of stuff. But that's on a different YouTube. I'll get him on. But um, crack on with your NFT market. What right? can we say? So it's got the buy and sell. Um, when you log in, there's no profile. Uh, some of them do have a profile page. Um, what else do we have? No buy and uh, so there's just buy and sell. No profile. You can. Uh, uh do basically the basic things right now some of the things are still like being worked on i think yeah. it's kind of a newer market and uh yeah as you can see here coming soon so there's a whole 
list yeah, of he's... features. It's really early for this one, right? Yeah. Definitely. So can't say too much about this one just yet, but keep an eye out. It might be a yeah. really great one. And he's a nice guy. There you go. I'll give him that. Yeah. Uh, the one other thing, though, there's like a little of a paywall in here. If you log in, you're going to have to pay a small amount of XRP to do any minting or anything here. Okay. Just be aware. Um, so then the next one up would be Estates which is this one here. Estetis is kind of like a elite art market, I would say, right? At least that's yeah. how they position themselves. Position and themselves. It's not like an open marketplace where you can go on and just buy and sell and all of that. I mean, you can buy, but you can't mint and go and sell your art here. You have to be, it's kind of like in a gallery setting, right? To be honest, have to... it says it on the title, Extraordinary Fine Art NFT. So there you go. It's more like elite, I would say. Yeah. You have artist, to be yeah, an artist. a true artist. And you have yeah. to be in, get in touch with the guys who run this. And, you know, they have to approve. An your... elite. Yeah, you have to be approved to be on here. It's like an elite garlic gallery. Yeah. <laughs> Um, an art so, gallery of NFTs. So. Yeah, and since it's not really an open marketplace and you can't mint, there's really anything that we've, you know, can tell you about it, except that but, you can go buy stuff. There you go. Um, second to last one up is Opulence. This is a brand new one, right? Brand new. Yeah. I think it came out this, excuse me, this week or last week. So this is brand new. Brand new. Uh, probably a lot, of, a lot of features still in development. Yeah. But looking really good. And we had a quick look. So what we can tell you is you can buy and sell NFTs, of course. Um, you log in. At the moment, there is no profile. It's just like a standard. You got a lava image. lamp. Come on, bro. You, you got have a little lava, lava lamp looking have a time image. <laughs> uh, they're charging we were one... reminiscing about the lava lamp, so there you go. Yeah. There's a there's a one percent free for all the transactions which they take for everything. You can do single mint, you can do bulk mint, you can do a collection here. Um you will have a history tab. You see all the things you've done and uh, there are no stats and analytics, no watch list. And apparently there will be NFT staking coming here, whatever that yeah. means. Well, um, stake your NFT. Yeah, let's see. Don't know but, what yeah. Oculus Art is, but we'll sure we'll find out. But maybe they'll implement more features as they grow. So analytics, ticks, and yeah. things like that. So who knows? But that's brand new. Yeah, brand new. Check it out. Then we have one final one on here on our list, which is Secret Market. Uh it's not really an NFT market per se, right? No. But since you can... We like this guy. Yeah, and it's since you can nice. basically buy NFTs on here, we added it in. It's kind of a cool yeah. site. Um, so you can buy NFTs in here by buying a raffle tickets, right? Yeah. And you can Brilliant also... Idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. You can also sell your NFTs here by putting up a raffle. Raffle. And you define the number of tickets and so forth. And you can set up a raffle very easily here. So and there's like a, a very small fee. And there's also a small fee if you want to have your raffle featured on the, on the homepage. And it works really well. We can recommend this one, right? Used it a Definitely. few times. We've used it a few times. It's good. And Definitely. you can pick up some nice NFTs here yeah, if you get lucky, cheap. right? For really cheap. If you get lucky. If you get lucky. If you Definitely. get lucky. And I think it's a raffle. It's a raffle. Um, so I think that covers the current state of NFT markets on XRPL, yeah. what would you say? Yeah, definitely. And we'll right. update it as and when and as more and more come in, but it's good to see more and more competition. Yeah. Um, let's see how this all evolves. It's all moving quite fast. Yeah. But yeah, tell us what your favorite one is, what you've used maybe. Have a and... play around, have a look. But be careful, have a look, explore them all and to the moon.